This lesson is on converting squared units of measure. Uh, please be sure that you've watched converting linear units of measure uh, before moving on to this lesson, because if you're having trouble with converting linear units of measure, uh, you're going to have real difficulty with converting squared units of measure. So make sure you have a strong grasp on linear units before moving on to this, these squared units. Before we start this lesson, we're just going to talk about squared units of measure. So if we were looking at something as basic as 10 squared, what that is actually telling us is this, sorry, is this squared here is telling us that we need to multiply this twice. So what 10 squared actually is, is 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. So 10 squared is actually 100. Okay, you can do that with any number. If you had 5 squared, again, all it's telling you to do, this squared is saying that you need to uh, do 5 times 5. Okay, so you get 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. So 5 squared is the same as 25. Okay, uh, one other example, if we had... Um, 35 squared, okay? Again, this squared is telling us we need to multiply this by itself. So, 35 times 35, which equals 1,225. So then 35 squared is equal to 1,225, okay? Uh, it's important to know what to do with squared units for converting squared units to measure. Uh, so uh, here we go on with the slideshow. So just a quick review on the units of measure before we get started. Uh, again, this is from the last lesson, so we're going to be using the same staircase. Okay, uh, when you're going up the stairs, okay, you need to be dividing to convert your units of measure. When you're going down the stairs from a larger unit of measure to a smaller unit of measure, you need to be multiplying. Okay? Uh, like we said last time, if you went up one step, you'd be dividing by 10, 2 by 100, 3 by 1,000, 4 by 10,000, etc., etc. Okay? So we're going to be using the exact same method uh, for converting squared units of measure. There's just one small difference. So this first example, we're going to look at converting 5 centimeters squared into, sorry, let me squeeze that in, millimeters squared. Okay? So to do this again, we need to find our starting point. So we're starting at centimeters. Okay. We're going to a smaller unit of measure, millimeters, so we're going down the stairs, so we know that we need to be multiplying. So we're going to be doing five times. Now we're going down one step, so we're going to be multiplying by 10, but we need to remember that it's not just 10. We're working with squared units, so it's going to actually be 10 squared. So we need to do five times 10 squared, so we need to figure out what 10 squared is equal. And from the last slide, okay, if you have 10 squared, you're just doing 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. So you are actually doing 5 centimeters squared times 100, okay? And 5 centimeters squared times 100 is going to equal 500 millimeters squared, okay? So uh, your conversion from 5 centimeters squared is equal to 500 millimeters squared. So again, everything is the same. You're multiplying and dividing the same way as with linear units. You're figuring out what you're multiplying or dividing by the exact same way with, by figuring out how many stairs up or down you're going. The only difference is now you're multiplying or dividing by squared units of measure, so you need to make sure you understand how to figure out what a squared unit of measure equals. The next example we'll look at is 5,682 hectometers squared equals, and we want to figure out how many kilometers squared it equals. So again, we're going to start from our starting point, so we're working with hectometers, so we're going to be at hectometers. Okay, we want to convert into kilometers, so we're going up the stairs, which means if we're going up the stairs, we're dividing. So we need to do 5,682 divided by, uh, since we're going up one stair, Okay, we're going to be dividing by 10. 
And since we're using squared units, we're not just dividing by 10, we're actually dividing by 10 squared. As we've already figured out, okay, 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, so our actual equation that we need to solve for is 5,682 hectometers squared divided by 100, okay, which would equal 5 decimal 6 eight, two hectometers squared. Okay. In our last example, uh, we'll look at 856,922 centimeters squared equals, and we want to figure out how many meters squared it equals. So again, always starting with the simplest thing, okay? We're, we're starting at centimeters, so that's where on the staircase we're starting by, okay? We're going up the stairs to meters, so since we're going up the staircase, Okay, again, we know that we need to use division. Okay. Now we need to figure out how many steps we're going up to figure out what number we're dividing by. Okay. So we've gone, we started at centimeters, going up to decimeters, which is 10, and up to meters. So we've gone up two stair steps, or two flights of stairs, so we need to be dividing by 100. And since we're doing it using squared units of measure, we're not dividing just by 100, we're actually dividing by 100 squared. Okay, to figure out what 100 squared is, we do 100 times 100, which is equal to 10,000. So what we're actually doing is 856,922 divided by 10,000. Okay, once I divide those numbers, I get an answer of... 85 decimal 6 9 2 2 meters squared and if I wanted to uh, I could even round this number off to 85 and 7 tenths meters squared okay but you don't need a round if you don't want to uh, so that's the lesson on converting squared units of measure um, again, if you didn't understand linear units of measure, you need to understand that before you're going to understand how to convert squared units of measure. Okay? Uh, watch the video again if you're, you have any questions, and make sure you follow up tomorrow in class and ask any follow-up questions you might have.